sports theme right now in a little different way. There is a campaign to tell parents to act your age at, a, at athletic events. It comes as there's a growing shortage in officials, a shortage that recently caused a local high school game to be canceled. IHSAA Commissioner Bobby Cox is here with me to talk about the inappropriate behavior we're seeing mostly from parents at these high school athletic events. Thanks for being with us, Bobby. Really appreciate it this morning. Glad to be here. And unfortunately, this isn't the first time you've been with us here on Daybreak talking about this very thing. And now the entire campaign this year from the IHSAA is geared toward parents. Yes, it is. Our sportsmanship campaign now for the last two years has been directed specifically at adults. And as adults, we just need to do better. Uh, these are games for kids. This is education-based athletics, and it's an opportunity for kids to learn in the education setting. Uh, unfortunately, we have some adults that have been living vicariously through their children and, and acting out at these contests calls that are made by officials that uh, that don't go their way uh, they're expressing those things in a more personal and violent manner and and subsequently it's it's had an effect on officiating our average age of officials now is over 50 years of age and we're not replacing them at the rate we're losing them mm -hmm. and uh, just recently we had a contest where we had to cancel the contest because we didn't have enough officials to adjudicate the contest a high school football game where two high schools prepared all week and then didn't get to play the game and that's very unfortunate for young people and that's the Lutheran at Short Ridge game you're talking about that's there correct. yeah it was so sad to see the teams lining up and having to go through the line and shake hands and uh, no game was ever played and there was a day when if you got to that position at 6.15 in the evening and there was an official missing, you could get on your phone and you could call somebody and there might be somebody available. There are just not that many people out there left. They're all assigned going somewhere on a Friday evening and there's a shortage. And so what happens is that we're going to have some games that will get moved off of Friday night. And they may be played on Saturdays or they may be played on Thursday night. And uh, those are going to situations that are going to come if we don't turn the trend. It seems that a lot of these parents who uh, get a little out of line or a lot out of line are some of the biggest fans of sports in general. They're so passionate about it, but what they're doing is killing the game. Well, and we love passion. We want fans to come out and cheer loudly for their team, but there's a line. And, and our campaign, one of our very salient points is act your age, mm -hmm. stay in your lane. You know, when coaches coach, officials officiate, kids play hard and parents cheer for their team it's a great event and most of our events are that way but there are some that aren't are you seeing these campaigns reach these parents we think it is uh, I think our member schools are doing a really good job of distributing our materials having these conversations in their parent meetings at their schools these are direct conversations and, and from my perspective if if you're a parent sitting there and you're offended by this campaign you might be one of the people that we need to talk to the the greatest. And on top of referees, it seems that coaches, it's a difficult part of their job too, dealing with these parents. Well, there's a higher expectation today. I think maybe back in the day that uh, coaches just coached. Mm -hmm. And then when the season was over, they moved on. Well, today, they not only coach during the season, but they must be doing something with the young people out of season and getting them a college scholarship and getting them into right. a university and doing a lot of other things. So it's a tougher job for a coach today than it used to be. You know, at IHSAA, it has a list of the many ways that you can be a, a huge fan and also toe that line of, of being appropriate while also being enthusiastic, right? Here's a list. Act your age, don't live your life vicariously through your children. I'm sure that's a huge <laughs> one. Uh, let your children own their own decisions, whether good or bad. That's how you learn. That's one of the best things about sports, right, is, is learning how to lose, learning how to win. Losing is not fatal yeah. and winning is not final. Yeah. The reality is life moves on. And, and sometimes you need to lose because you learn a lot of great lessons when you lose. And, and parents need to let that happen. It's not the official's fault. It's not the coach's fault. Sometimes players just don't make plays. Yeah. And that's at every level. And, and if we can teach that to young people at the high school level, they're going to be better suited moving forward. Bobby Cox, always a pleasure. Thank you Thank so you. much. Good luck with the campaign. Thank you. Come on, parents. Get with it. Marcus Bailey, we love sports. We want yes, him to stick around. That's right. We do.